Hello everyone, my name is Miss Rebecca. I'm an educator at Blue Jay Point County Park. Today we are going to be reading a book related to our songbird celebration. That book is What If Night by Paul Bogard and illustrated by Sarah Holden. What if night never came? Wouldn't that be great? You wouldn't have to go to bed ever. You could stay outside and play forever. Wouldn't life without night be amazing? <sighs> Maybe for a little while. But where would the moon go to shine its light? And where would the stars appear if the sky was always bright? What about the birds who travel in the dark? Or the crickets with their music? Or the fireflies with their spark? All around the world, in forests and deserts and oceans and plains, for creatures tiny and creatures huge. When the day grows dark, life really begins. Forever and ever and all through time, Night is where they travel with friends, or find their favorite food, or stop to sing to the stars. So what would all the animals who need darkness do if night never came? What about you? When you grew tired, how would you sleep? When would you dream? of all the places you want to visit, of all the fun things you will do. Now, here's some good news. As long as the world keeps spinning, night will always arrive. And you can help by turning off the light in your garden, at your back door, or even in your room. All the life that finds a home in the darkness will have a chance to thrive. And so will you. Thank you for joining me on our story time today. Our songbird celebration this year is talking about light pollution and how lots of animals need the dark to be able to migrate to be able to find food, to be able to survive. And like the book said, it's very simple for us to help. All you can do is just make sure that your lights are turned off at night to help these animals. Thanks again. Bye.